news at six starts right now. Another byproduct of all of this, a mental health tidal wave is on the way. That's the warning from dozens of Santa Clara County behavioral health experts. They say most of their patients are poor, homeless people who don't own a phone or computer to receive remote care. Providers are seeing big declines in revenue and are facing large layoffs at the same time that the need for these services is skyrocketing. The fear is more people will turn to substance abuse and other harmful behavior as a way to cope with all the coronavirus related stress. We liken this to a tsunami. The tide has gone out and things appear calm, but the wave that is coming from offshore will hit our communities and our behavioral health providers very hard. Leaders say it's not enough just to declare that the behavioral health services are essential workers. They need an influx of funding to deliver the vital and proper care. KTVU Fox 2 News at 5 starts now. Today, the Santa's Construction Company in San Jose donated their supply of safety masks to Valley Medical Center. They say the virus has hit home, that the mother of one of their employees has tested positive for coronavirus. The Trump administration today urged all U.S. construction companies to give their inventories of N95 safety masks to hospitals. And the show will also go on at the CineQuest Film Festival that runs through March 15th. We have hundreds of artists from all over the world that have been so excited and staying here um, that want to show their films so we are open for business. 